And welcome back to the Plus Side of Nashville. Well, my next guest has been collecting beer memorabilia since he was just six years old. It all started with picking up beer cans on the side of the road, and now his passion has grown into a huge collection, as well as a book called Nashville Brewing. And we want to talk more, learn more about the whole brewing industry here in Nashville from Scott Murty. Welcome to the show, Scott. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Well, we're happy to have you. So, just a little six-year-old boy. At the, at the time, my mother was a Girl Scout leader for my older sister, and I got drug out on all kinds of Girl Scout activities, unfortunately. And being a <laughs> bored six-year-old, I started picking up beer cans off the side of the road on a Girl Scout hike, and that's how my collection started. Wow. So, were these just any kind of beer cans? These were just random just American random beer cans, cans that uh, people would have thrown out their car window. <laughs> and at that time, my dad traveled all over the world for business so he started bringing me back beer cans and then I started getting really unique beer cans and that's where my uh, my hobby grew from there I see so by the time you were a teenager you had a huge by the time collection. I was a teenager I had several thousand beer cans <laughs> and then my interest started to uh, I started to diversify into other brewery gotcha. which is a technical term for other beer advertising or memorabilia okay and now we have to take a look at you've gone from just collecting those beer cans on the side of the road to these very nice antique beer cans and tell me a little bit about these two that we see on the table here. Well both of these were produced by the William Gerst Brewing Company and those are the only two beer cans that were ever produced out of Nashville. Many cities have all kinds of different beer cans but Nashville pretty much just had one brewery in the 20th century and it was William Gerst and those are two brands that he produced Gerst 57 and Gerst Brew 77. So I know you can't talk about the brewing industry here in Nashville without talking about the William Gerst company as you just said. Correct. Um, it was a very integral part of Nashville's history but a little bit of a forgotten part of the history would that, you say? That is correct. Right after the Civil War there are several small breweries in town but for the most part breweries weren't very popular popular in the south because refrigeration at that time hadn't been invented so most of the breweries were uh, up in uh, the northern part of the United States and right around the late 1800s refrigeration became more popular in the south and breweries started to expand down in the southern part of the United States. And William Gerst uh, was the head brewer for Christian Moorline in Cincinnati, and Christian Moorline purchased the Nashville Brewing Company in 1890 and sent William Gerst down as a partner and to head up the brewery. Then three years later, in 1893, William Gerst bought out Christian Moorline, and it became the William Gerst Brewing Company. Okay, well, I think we've got a picture that we want to show everyone of. This is exactly what it looked like. That was huge. That's the brewery right around uh, the turn of the 20th century. They did an, an enormous expansion that was located on what's now 6th Avenue South, right around where the freeway uh, runs through it now. Oh my goodness, I had no idea that we ever had anything that big. Unfortunately, was... uh, no parts of the brewery are left standing. I see. The last part was a bottling warehouse that burned down in 1989. Okay, well, what I think is fascinating, too, Scott, about you is you're not from Nashville. I'm not from Nashville. <laughs> but you came here, and when you came here, you really got involved with researching our brewing industry. That, what was the inspiration behind that? Well, um, when I moved to Nashville. In, from? From Akron, Ohio yes. is where I grew up, and I went to Ohio State and uh, moved down here right after I graduated. Um, I started collecting local breweriana and realized there wasn't a whole lot of local breweriana in Nashville. And after doing more and more research, I found out really there was just the one brewery. And uh, so I started focusing my attention about five years ago on just collecting items from, from that brewery. Yeah. And, and you did a lot of research because this this book has got some incredible pictures in here. Um, the, it's practically filled with pictures that um, of all the history of uh, breweries in Nashville. And um, the William Gerst Company was like the biggest one in the South, not just Nashville. But they were the one South. of the largest in the South. That is correct. Which is just which is just fascinating. And of course, for many of us, the name Gerst. Gerst House. If you're if you're familiar at all or have eaten at the restaurant Gerst House, you're probably wondering, is there a connection? There is, absolutely, there is a connection. The Gerst House opened in 1955, the year after the brewery closed, and it was opened by the grandson of William Gerst, and he wanted to carry on that tradition of uh, the German tradition in Nashville and started serving German dishes. Originally, it was located on 2nd Avenue and is now in its third location by the Titan Stadium. And some of those folks have done the 
forwards for your book, which that I is think correct. is great. Well, we're going to take a break, Scott, but we've got to learn more about uh, the brewing industry here in Nashville from you in just a moment. So stay with us. And there you see the information for Scott Murty's book signing. His book, Nashville Brewing, is a great book that you may want to pick up for that person who loves trivia, wants, loves history, and wants to learn more about Nashville Brewing. The book signing is going to be May 22nd from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at Old World Leaf and Ale in Brentwood, Tennessee. And there's a phone number you can call if you'd like more information. It's 373-6815. And we've been talking quite a bit about the biggest company, brewing company here in Nashville, which was the William Gerst Company. How did Prohibition affect that particular company? Well, Prohibition was a very negative effect on the William Gerst Brewing Company, as it was for breweries across the United States. When Prohibition was enacted in Tennessee in 1913, uh, the Gerst Brewery essentially ceased brewing any beer, and they started they switched to uh, malted beverages, such as today's modern-day Oduls. They're non-alcoholic beverages, as well as they produced some colas and other flav flavored soft drinks. And they uh, were um, big as far as employing lots of people here in Nashville. Correct. So there were several the hundred employees. It did affect yeah. the economy. Wow. Well, now let's talk a little bit about the brewing industry here in Nashville currently. Okay. Um, what would you say uh, compared to uh, when we had the William Gerst in the, the, the hugeness of that whole uh, company compared to what we have now as far as the brewing industry here in Nashville? Well, the William Gerst Brewing Company was a massive brewery, and they produced beer for th throughout the, the southeast as well as middle Tennessee. Today's modern-day microbreweries that we have here in Nashville produce on a much smaller scale. Um, we have several microbreweries that sell beer in local grocery stores, but most of them sell beer on their own premises. Right. Now, would that include like Market Street? Market Street or the Bohannon Brewing Company was really the first brewery in Tennessee since uh, Gerst closed in 1954, and it opened up in the late 80s. Unfortunately, it closed several years ago. Right. And then we have Blackstone. We have Blackstone Restaurant and Brewery, which is a restaurant on West End Avenue, and they also sell their beers in local grocery stores and craft beer stores. Uh, Yazoo Brewing Company, which is a microbrewery, and then Bosco's Brewing Company in Big River which is downtown. Okay. Well, I just think it's so fascinating that there's so many people who are interested in the whole brewing industry, and there's a, a nationwide club. There is a nationwide club for collecting brewery on, and there's actually several different clubs. The one that I'm most active in is called the Brewery and a Collectors Club of America, or the BCCA. So, and you actually can legally make beer. I can make beer. Uh, that's another hobby of mine is home brewing, yes. and that's a popular hobby here in Nashville as, as well as nationwide. Well, I understand I've got a good friend, and I think he's also a part and is, is, is interested in doing that <laughs> as well. We were talking a little bit earlier, too, about um, the Gerst family and uh, that they still have some ties uh, to uh, Nashville, um, but the whole family and being of German descent and the whole idea of beer sort of being tied into that. Do you still find that there are members of that family that are still in the industry? Really what I've found since I started researching this book and the book has been published is I'm having family members contact me about their heritage. So that's been kind of interesting. I wow. have more and more Gers family members contacting me to find out about their family. <laughs> I think that's so interesting. Well, you've done a great job with this book, Scott, and I want to thank you so much for being here. It's called Nashville Brewing, and I think it would make a great gift idea for our dad or anybody who's interested in, in, in Brianna. Exactly. So, well, I appreciate you being here today, and, and good luck with your book signing. Thank you very much. And uh, w once again, we mentioned that he's going to be having a book signing soon, so we hope you'll go out and see him. And I want to, there's the information about the book signing. It's going to be May 22nd from 530 to 7.30 at the Old World Leaf and Ale out in Brentwood. And I, and I want to thank you for being here today for the Plus Side of Nashville, and we hope to see you next time. Have a great day.